Today, I'm going to share with you all what's got to be my favorite new summer dress. I'm, re I'm actually really extremely excited about it. And it's this one right here. That's the Allison Tent Dress by Jeray Desiree. Um, so much jazz. You all, uh, so I previously made this dress last year and I used a stiffer cotton in Ankara, as a matter of fact, and it got a ton of wear. And when I made that one, I was actually looking for something that was going to be pretty, like voluminous. I wanted all of the volume, so that's why I chose a stiffer fabric. This time around, I wanted something that was going to be a little more romantic, but something that I could wear in this crazy hot weather. I mean, today it was 102 degrees, real feel, um, and super humid. I mean, it, this Washington, D.C. area gets extremely humid. It's, it's kind of insane. Anywho, I wanted something that I wasn't going to totally melt it, and this fits the bill. So let me tell you about some of the pattern details for this. So you can see that I actually made this in a very lightweight fabric and so you can see that my facing is kind of showing. It looks it looks a little different in pictures and actually I'll put a picture over here for you to check that out. When I am wearing nude garments, undergarments, it actually looks it, it, it looks surprisingly like 100% better than it does on this gray mannequin. So just keep that in mind. Um, this is a pullover v-neck dress and it has that facing. It has pin tucks up at the top here by the shoulder. I decided to get a little experimental. We're going to talk about that in a second. There are inseam pockets on both sides, of course. And then it does have a flared out style with this really gorgeous ruffle on the bottom and sleeves with the ruffle on the sleeves. You all, this dress, it steals my heart. Now let's talk about the sizes because the sizing for this pattern is very generous. So it starts at an extra small and it goes up to a 5XL. So what that means is for your bust, it's covering people who have a bust size of 29 inches up to 60 inches and then hips of 31.5 up to 60 inches. Now here's something that I really want you to keep in mind. This dress has a lot of ease a ton of ease. Um, and so if you find that your hips are even larger than 60 inches, I would say try this dress out anyways, because even if your hips are 65 plus, there's that much ease in this dress. Now my measurements put me in at an extra large for my bust and a 2XL for my hips but I made a straight size large. I didn't grade or anything. And that's because of the amount of ease that this pattern does have. So that's something to keep in mind when you're making this. I would recommend sizing down if you're not comfortable with all of that volume. If you feel like volume is your thing, go for it. <laughs> As for recommended fabrics, now the fabrics that So Much Jazz recommends that you use are lightweight and breezy ones like chambray, cottons, linens. I would actually um, add rayon to that mix, like even like a chalice. I think it's called chalice. Is a chalice? You all uh, help me out. I can't remember if it's chalice or chalice, but a rayon in that would be fantastic for this dress. Um, she also recommended denim, which I thought was a really interesting choice. And I actually think that that would be really nice for the fall or maybe even in a corduroy for the fall. I think that would be really sweet. So those are some options. Just think about what look you're going for when you wanna choose the fabrics for this dress. Okay, now let's talk about some of the changes that I made. I've already mentioned that I definitely sized down when I made this dress here and I think it was the right call. Another change that I did was all of the hems call for you to turn it over a quarter inch press and then turn it over another quarter inch so that way you're getting a narrow hem. So you can see I definitely did the quarter inch here around the sleeves but when it came to the hem 
I made it a much deeper hem. This is an inch. So overall, it was an inch and a quarter. I pressed it up a quarter inch and then I flipped that over another one inch and sew that down. And the reason why I went for the deeper hem on this dress was because, well, it's such a light fabric. I wanted a deeper hem that was gonna help kind of weigh it down and make it hang, hang a little differently than a small little tiny baby hem would. No, let's talk about the pin tucks. This pattern actually calls for you to have the tucks on the inside and then you press them in. Um, but I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool to actually have the pin tucks on the outside and sew them down? Well, I didn't quite execute that well. I should have stuck with what so much jazz recommended and that was putting it on the inside, but I didn't. So I ended up with these pin tucks here and I don't, I don't hate them, but they're definitely not even. Like I did, my stitching wasn't very good to say the least. And there you go. I mean, it does look fine when it's on um, and has a really good press. I just have to make sure that when I'm actually pressing this sucker that <laughs> I'm not pressing weird um, lines right into these pin tucks so that way it kind of flows nicely over the bust and so that was a hundred percent on me on, on on this girl right here I I did that but look I actually remembered to put my label on in the inside okay so final thoughts overall this dress is hands down a winner I absolutely love it. I love the ease of wearing this. I love that it's one of those pullover dresses. You don't have to worry about it, any fastenings or anything like that. It's got really beautiful details. The ruffles on the sleeve, along with the ruffle on the hem, make it a little more romantic, fun, flirty, depending on the type of fabric that you use. And I just, I really do think that it came together pretty easily. Now, the whole pin tuck situation well i won't repeat that again <laughs> i'll actually make it the way that it's recommended that you make them while i'm sitting here raving about this dress let me just say i feel like the best indicator of whether or not a pattern is going to be good for you is how you actually feel when you're wearing the garment right because I mean, come on, there are tons of patterns out there that we can all make. But are you getting the vibe that you want out of your dress, right? For this one, I was going for kind of like a more like laid back, less loud. What? Less loud. Like romantic vibe. And I feel like that's what this achieves. I feel fantastic. I just feel fabulous. Like all eyes are on me when I wear this walking down and the wind catches my dress a little bit and it's floating in the wind. You all, you can't tell me nothing. I feel amazing in this dress. Therefore this dress pattern, <laughs> it's a winner. <laughs> let me know what you think about this dress down in the comments below and let me know if you've made it. I really would like to hear about your experiences. <laughs> If you enjoyed this quick little pattern review, check out my swimsuit pattern review right over here for the Vixen bikini and bralette. And you all, until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.